Decision 2016, 22 hours now until the next Republican debate, and that will happen in downtown Detroit. Two debates and a Michigan primary all within the next week. That means the candidates are descending on our state. We've been on uh, the trail with them all day, including a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Bernie Sanders tonight. Mara McDonald, live downtown. You have been on the move today, Mara. <laughs> Well, Devin, that's because all of a sudden Michigan is very popular, and here is why. We are the last state that awards delegates proportionally. After us, everybody is winner take all, which means that all of these candidates are here hustling for delegates. The political road show from both parties is in town tonight and on the desperate hunt for delegates. Do you think we're going to get things fixed if all we do is fight, argue with one another? I mean, we know better than that. Ohio Governor John Kasich making a big play here. He needs to finish at the top of the pile. Senator Marco Rubio is in the same boat. I'm coming back in the fall because we're going to win Michigan in the general election and we're going to turn this country around. Both men spoke to moderate crowds while Senator Bernie Sanders brought the students out by the thousands at the Breslin Center tonight at MSU. Sanders stuck to his stump speech for an hour, but gave us a one-on-one -on -one interview. For starters, I asked, how is he going to appeal to black voters here when his numbers in that demo have been awful? And in Michigan, very significantly, we are talking about changing a disastrous set of trade policies which have wrecked the economy of Detroit. He told me his internal polling shows he can take Hillary Clinton here. Because we think we can win here in Michigan. What does your polling numbers tell well, you? Well, it doesn't matter. Well, they're a lot better than what your polling numbers are. And while the delegate math suggests he will not be the nominee. We think we have a path toward victory. I'm not going to tell you. It's not going to be a difficult path. And what if Donald Trump is the GOP nominee? Tax women every day, tax the veterans. I do not believe that the American people will elect somebody like that to be president. Back here live. Meanwhile, on the GOP side, Dr. Ben Carson says he's not coming here tomorrow night to participate on the debate stage. He says he does not see a path forward for himself. He did not officially drop out of the race, but this is about as unofficially official as it can get. Devin, Carmen, yeah. back to you. Sure seems that way, Mara. All right, so we've got a debate tomorrow night. We'll have full coverage for you leading up to it and then after it tomorrow night here on Local 4.